Um, I'm just coming from the doctor's appointment. And um, I suggest you guys do what you gotta do to stay healthy, you know? I get my checkups twice a year. And if anything I feel like it's not right, I don't just go to like these regular physicians, like in these doctor offices and hospitals. I go see holistic doctors as well. And uh, as well as good preachers and pastors and spiritual people. Don't wait for the S to H to hit the fan. Go ahead and do all those things now because we're getting closer to that time. Well, we're already living in those times, but we're getting closer to the deadline of it to all just fall on us. I'm telling y'all that now. So if you have things that are, and if you can't afford, if you don't have insurance, I suggest you start looking into some home health remedies and holistic ways. How you doing? Holistic ways of taking care of that. Cause you don't want this whole system to fall and you have rotten teeth in your mouth or you have <laughs> That's the train. Or you have stuff going on in your body that you haven't dealt with that you know you need to deal with. Like I told y'all, I had these aches in my lower back, like almost like my A area, my butt area, I'll say that, from um, sitting down long hours from working from home. I'm telling y'all, it's just painful and dreadful, right? So I had to go see doctors about it. And that's when I discovered that sitting down for long periods of time, it causes problems. It causes major problems. And so along with that, they suggested for me to go swimming, to do physical um, therapy, and also to continue to exercise the way I'm doing now. And eat very healthy, which is something I do anyway. I cheat sometimes, but you know, it is what it is. So that's what this video is about today. It's about uh, doing what you have to do. I'm not even going this way. To prepare yourselves and your families, like getting your, uh, your medical right, your physical body right, and your spiritual, your soul. And get everything right with God first, you know? And, uh, Everything else needs to be taken care of as well. But the main foundation for me, for all these things, is spirituality. Because people, what we have coming to us, y'all, you read Revelations, it's going to be like that. But it's going to be even worse. And if you're not grounded in the Word of God, and you're not grounded with a good relationship with your higher power, power, whatever name you call your higher, higher power. You know, I don't just disagree with people with religions, as long as it's helping their life, helping them and navigating them in the right direction. I'm not one to say, if you don't do this, or if you don't follow this person, or you don't follow this prophet, or this type of God, you won't be saved. I never, I never tell people nothing like that, you know, because I've seen different religions help different people in ways that other religions didn't help them you know so you know whatever your higher power, power is you know getting it right and having a strong foundation in that belief because the things we're about to be dealing with and the things we're about to be seeing is none like any other y'all that's why I told y'all in one video if I see an alien right now I'm not gonna be afraid because I, I prepared myself for all this already. I'm talking about voices telling me when I'm walking New York City about those statues and some of those emblems on that build on those buildings that look like statues and whatnot, how they gonna come to life one day. Hold on you guys. So 
I've already conditioned myself in my mind to get ready for it. Prepare myself for it, you know. I suggest you do the same. Let me go ahead and answer this call, y'all. I'm sorry. Please follow me on my other platforms. Support the Allegedly T-shirts. Watch this world. Watch this weather. Smell your water. Boil your water before you use it. It keeps surviving.